Hello to eat. You know, graffiti is leaving its tag on Art Basel. Call it contemporary and credit hip hop for exposing it to the masses. It's art. Deco Drive's Audrey Aubrey Aquino introduces us to a pair of Miami graffiti artists and shows us what to expect from open space. Straight out of a spray can, transformed into art expression. From the streets to South Beach. I like to call it like street, but also like South Beach, not to make it seem so, so, so lame like that. But like I like the colors, like the neon color that, that capture, but also with the darkness in it. Graffiti is taking over at Open Space. Artists are busy getting everything ready for tonight's big opening. Open Space is more than your typical art gallery. Here, the art doesn't just hang on the walls; it creates the environment. There's the tunnel. We're gonna keep changing it and morphing it into more of like this urban gutter of color and light and uh, different textures. And a mural collaboration by several artists whose skills are homegrown. Really put a lot of work in the streets in order to get um, fame like at galleries like this. Hip hop culture is also helping take graffiti art to the next level. As hip hop gets bigger, so, so does uh, graffiti slash um, contemporary art, you know. They're, they're that. The commercial makes it more mainstream, which makes it more acceptable to society. It's a niche market, I suppose. I think that there's a lot of people interested um, in graffiti as an art now than there was when it first started. But no matter what label you give it, these guys won't forget their roots. So you still consider yourself a graffiti artist, even though you do contemporary art? Yeah, I'm still a graffiti artist. It's just more on the canvas now than on the streets. How do you stay out of trouble. From 20th and Liberty in South Beach, I'm Aubrey Aquino for Deco Drive.